Every time the sun rises, we get to experience a brand new day that has never been seen before. And every time the sun sets, it marks the end of a day we will never see again. To me, a new day means new opportunities and new possibilities. Today, I'm taking you with me on a journey. We're going to wake up and conquer the day. Ready? Let's go. I start every morning by waking up at around 6.15 a.m. It gives me a moment to get in some silent time before the craziness of the workday begins where I will be pulled in a thousand different directions. Having a strong morning routine sets my tone for the day. I want to feel accomplished and successful, so that's why I start off every morning the same, with a workout. Getting through something tough right when I wake up makes me feel confident, powerful, and ready to take on any challenges headed my way. I start off every morning with lemon water. This is my huge 64 ounce bottle and she comes with me everywhere. I drink between one to two of these a day to stay hydrated. If it looks like I'm about to go for a run, it's because I am. Something magical happens when you dig deep into the things you've been avoiding for so long. It feels terrible at first, but you begin developing a respect for the thing that once scared you if you just give it a chance. It allows me the time to be outside, which is a rarity these days. It also allows me precious time to listen to audiobooks and soak in some inspiration and new ideas. Right now, I'm in a girl power female mogul phase. Current ladies I'm loving are Joanna Gaines, Ali Wong, and Jessica Simpson. You wouldn't know it, but girl runs a fashion empire. After my run, I round out the cardio with some Pilates to strengthen my muscles and to keep my flexibility in check. It's so important to cross train because your body is meant to be challenged in all sorts of ways to truly function optimally. Sometimes I have seasons of weightlifting, seasons of dance, seasons of hot yoga, and seasons of pit. But right now, my calling is running and Pilates and my body is soaking up every moment of it. Like I said before, keeping my hydration in check is really important to me. It keeps me energized, my skin clear, and my digestive system healthy. I've begun to incorporate cucumber juice into my diet as well to amplify the hydration effect. Evolution Fresh makes a really nice juice called Cucumber Glow that's made of just cucumber, lemon, and a touch of pink Himalayan salt. There's no added sugar or other fake ingredients, so it works for my body. Once my workout is over, my workday officially begins. I take a shower, get changed into my work from home attire, and make the long commute down the stairs to my desk. Before I even think of turning on my computer, I write a to-do list. When there's so much craziness going on, it's easy to get lost in a cycle of work that feels never ending and overwhelming. But when you can set your path for the day, you get to be the one who chooses how you want your day to play out. For me, every day is so different. As my company has grown, I've had to learn how to grow as an entrepreneur, a manager, and a creator. I now run five different brands and manage a team that spans several different time zones, but there's still so much I don't know. It's still so much to be learned. Like TikTok. I am constantly challenged to push my creative boundaries and do things that make me feel really silly sometimes, but you know what? It's fun. The day you want to stop trying new things is the day you stop growing. Working from home has been amazing because I get to cook every day for every meal. It's brought me so much joy because it means I get more time to dream up and cook up new healthy dishes for me and Sam to try. I usually get hungry around 12.30 to 1, so I'll head down to the kitchen to see what's in the fridge. I always challenge myself to make what's left over because it makes cooking kind of like a game. Since I have a few cucumber glows in the fridge, I'm going to attempt to use it to cook something yummy for lunch. So today I'm going to attempt to make a vegan Buddha bowl. Using the cucumber glow as a refreshing base, I'm going to mix in coconut aminos for sweetness, lime for some pizzazz, and a touch of salt to make my marinade for the tofu. By the way, if you're super curious where you can find cucumber glow, you can check the refrigerated section in your produce area or you can try evolutionfresh.com. 
every meal I create has to be balanced and delicious. Delicious, I won't truly know until Sam tries it, but balanced? Definitely. The vegan Buddha bowl is high in protein thanks to the tofu, has healthy carbs from the sweet potato and onions, and healthy fats from the avocado. Every time I cook, I get so happy because I get to create something with my bare hands and then I get to share it with someone that I love. I usually always cook two meals because Sam and I eat differently. So I made myself a vegan Buddha bowl with cauliflower rice and I made Sam a chicken bowl with brown rice. Now, the moment of truth. Whew, okay, looks like we have a winner. Sam liked this recipe and actually asked for me to make it again. I'll share the recipe for the vegan Buddha bowl on my blog so you guys can make it too. It honestly is so good. Now, with our bellies full and our souls happy, Sam and I head back to our office recharged and ready to take on more work. Truthfully though, work doesn't feel like work because it's challenging, it's fun, and we get to run our company together with amazing people. I'm grateful that the team we have in place today is kind, humble, and hardworking. It's so important to take mini work breaks throughout the day to relax your mind. You can stretch, snack, or pet your dog. Sir is so good at always reminding me that I'm working too hard and that belly rubs and chin scratches are way more important than anything else I have going on. My days typically end anywhere between 6 p.m. to right before midnight, which I know is not healthy, but currently that's my life as an entrepreneur. Like I said, I'm still learning a lot on this journey and learning to take better care of myself is something I plan to conquer one of these days. Until then, this is how I conquered one day. Tomorrow will be a new day with new opportunities and new possibilities. I can't wait to see what the new sunrise will bring.